So this evening I'm out looking for barn owls. This is on a farm close to home, just, in a, <clears throat> just on the outskirts of Leeds. Um, and there's been barn owls here for a few years, but the, the, last, the last couple of years they don't really seem to have bred. Don't know why. But this is a really good spot. Some fantastic fields for them. Lots of, uh, lots of rough fields. Wildflower meadows. You see here, fantastic buttercups. Beautiful buttercup meadow. Just one of the fields that the barn owls will hunt over. So I've got my camera with me. Uh, I've just got a 400mm lens just because it's nice and light and easy to carry. Uh, it's good for hand holding. So if I get any opportunities today, I'm just gonna hand hold. Nothing so far. Friggin' long eared owl just flew out of the tree. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally, long eared owl just flew out of that sycamore. <sighs> this becomes a nightmare at this time of year. It gets so long, and there is thistles and nettles all over the place. I've just got these thin trousers on. Uh, I hate summer. Ow. Ow. Okay. Alright, this is where I want it to be. Right, it's what I'm going to do. I kind of want to be on the other side of the field, but I don't want to go along that hedgerow because that's where the owl's just flown, and I think it landed further along the hedgerow. So if I go that way, I'm likely to disturb it. So I'm going to walk around the long way, this side of the field, and get to the other side. I'm going to increase my chances a bit by putting on a camouflage hood and some gloves as well. So, this maybe isn't necessary. But I just always think it's better to increase your chances if you can. And whilst the barn owls might not notice me too much, there's always a good chance of running into something else here, like roe deer or fox. Or, um, you know, you never know, to be honest. There's loads of stuff around here. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I more chance of getting a longer encounter with this on. Aside from how ridiculous it looks. Okay. Right, let's go. So what I'm going to do is just get into position along this hedgerow. Because it seems to be like a really good spot for the owls. This field in particular, they always seem to hunt this field. And it, it just seems a fairly reliable spot at the edge of this field. Um, so I'm just going to get by this tree. Get close to the tree. I've got my camouflage on. 
Oh, I'm just gonna wait. Oh, we're just in the barn owl. Oh. Barn owl out hunting in the sun. Just over there. Oh. I think I'm gonna stay around here and hope that the barn owl comes down this way. really was an unbelievable view of a long-eared owl. Literally just came over the grasses, came right across, right across the middle of the field. Uh, and then it dived a few times as well. A couple of times it twisted, dived into the grass, came back up. Just an amazing view. It's definitely one of the best views I've had. Uh, didn't try and photograph it, just filmed it. Uh, I just watched. That was a good evening. Uh, almost didn't come out today. Just really didn't want to go out. Uh, literally forced myself out the door and got down here really late, really last minute. Uh, but it's gonna, it's been a good evening. Some good views, Barn Owl and Long Eared Owl. Um, pretty sure the, the Barn Owls are nesting. Pretty sure there's a pair nesting. One bird's taking food back to where I think is a nest. Uh, the long-eared owl, I have nothing to convince me there's two, to be honest. I haven't seen two long-eared owls in a long time. So it might be there's just one bird here, just on this territory. That would be a shame. Just one long-eared owl on its own. Uh, but it's a beauty. Gorgeous bird. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video. If you could share it, that'd be great. Uh, and if you want to keep seeing more videos, me photographing, watching wildlife in the UK and abroad, then subscribe to the channel. And sorry I answered much of my face for this video. Uh, well, maybe that's, that's okay with you, I don't know. Uh, oh, I've just seen a barn owl again. So yeah, if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And if there's another good barn owl sighting, I'll stick it on the end of this video.